<laughs> What's that there? I don't know. I was looking that at ice that. Bear? It might be. This seems pretty light. That got finished off. No, that's the, did you taste the coffee? I think that's Is the that coffee the coffee? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Lip smacking. Yeah, it's good. That that's There's good solid coffee base on there. You right. can taste it. Yeah, oh, I, God, I fucking yeah. love you taste it. Yeah, that's good coffee. It's good cafe. You have a cafe for me. <laughs> you All right, like so so you're looking for more money, right, dude? We are. We only got till March, end of March. You know, all government works, they're slow. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's better than shakes go right away. Jitters. <laughs> say, before Big Hair proper rolls in here and saves the show. <laughs> yeah. Kyle is here from the Port Skate Park. Hey, man, how are you? Morning. How you doing? Uh, good. How are you? Uh, came in on my snowmobile this morning. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I see you made a little uh, beverage stop. We appreciate that. Thank you, Sprecher. Always, always. You know, you can't come empty-handed. <laughs> Love it. So what do you need today, Kyle? What are you looking for? We're looking for the JJO listeners to help and support the Portage Family Skate Park. Uh, about 15000 away right now. Only have until the end of March. All donations double. So uh, what do you mean you only have till the end of March? Well, the way that uh, city government runs, it's a little slow at times. And to make everything, all the meetings, things have to happen. They have to go in order. You know, you have to meet uh, uh, this meeting, this commission. Um, otherwise, we just don't get it built in the uh, summer of 2020. Um, but we have to raise that last 15000 Who's uh, matching the fifteen? So an old school teacher of mine, uh, June and Edward Lenz, their charitable trust. Uh, my senior year, June, I had the privilege to, to be taught by June, and she thought so highly of me uh, that I may be doing something special with my life. The teacher's pet. <laughs> ah, so annoying. Um, that she, she left an earmark uh, money uh, to anything that I wanted to put towards the community, and, and the skate park was something that just fell into place. Um, the community needs it, they want it, and we need more space. One of the biggest complaints we hear is that uh, there's too many people using it, and that's a good thing, but um, we want to be able to build it for multi-generations. You know, some of the kids that started using it in our Skateboard Basics program, growing up, they're getting older. I've watched these kids grow, and now they're trying to teach other kids, but they need more space in order to do it. You know, I love that th th these skate parks aren't like, oh, that's where all the friggin' little a-holes hang out, little troublemakers. You know, I love it how just community the skate parks are these days. Just, you know, it's the hang. Yeah, know? our it's, it's a central hub of free recreation, but, you know, a lot of kids that go into school nowadays, they put on this face, and this skate park, this Goodyear Park, provides a place where they don't have to do that. You're seeing all walks of life kind of come together and their families, people that would never talk to each other are doing it uh, down there. They're speaking with each other and they're having fun. You know, we're seeing pickup football games down there again. We're seeing, you know, all sorts of this green space being used, including the skate park. And not everybody is there to skate. They're, they're there to hang out. When do you have your first skate park wedding? A couple of get married on their skateboard. That'd yeah. That'd be so cool. Yeah. You know, um... Mrs. Wright has to come along. You know, I, I told myself that, that, that I wouldn't get married a second time. Not but necessarily you, anybody. <laughs> it, it would be pretty cool, though. You know, I, I've seen it. Um, but to have something special like that take place in Portage, that'd be kind of cool, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I posted the links for the donation on the Morning Show Facebook page and the JJO Facebook page. I think it's really cool that we have that matching donations happening right now. So it's a little more motivation than ever to throw in your donation for the Portage Family Skate Park. Yeah, frequent uh, rockers, just, you know, smash that donation tab. Uh, get it done. You know, we, uh, we, we as rockers ourselves, we, uh, you know, we, we stick together. We, we do things that uh, are out of the ordinary, and, and you guys are some of the best supporters. Uh, just being on this show this morning, year after year, 
just goes to show that you know uh, the cause is is worth it it's worth the time it's worth driving in a small blizzard um you know i don't take snow days uh d and in, in, in danger you don't take snow days you're out here pushing causes and in taking names so appreciate it yeah absolutely man uh, all right, so just get, get on the Morning Show Facebook machines, and uh, you can get the links right there. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it all adds up. You know, it's always say that a five dollar five dollar plug always adds up. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, your five dollar today is yeah, ten dollars awesome. tomorrow. Yeah, that's really cool, man. All right, well, continued success with everything, man. You're a great force. I love it. Thanks, love your guys. energy, man. I love it when you come in here. Bring beer. Stock okay. that fridge. Okay. <laughs> Got a little Portage Skate Park. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Rock on, guys. All right. Uh, big Hair Friday.